Like a well-oiled machine, ladies and gentlemen. This guy doesn't even live here. He's just going to Craigslist this thing. So I'm uh, nervous. Very good job, Jim. Thank you very much. And welcome down. Uh, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You uh, got the Facebook message. Uh, thank you so much for coming down to our first installment of the Rio Theater's Talent Quest. Uh, the one thing that I can say about tonight is this. The show can only grow so that everybody knows and understands the rules as the show goes on. Our judges have one save and one kill throughout the night. That means that we will have 12 performers uh, during one of the performances. Uh, these judges, <laughs> there you go. If they choose, they can do that, or they can say stop, or whatever they want. That person will then be eliminated unless I want to save them. That's right, unless the judge chooses to save a person. So there is one elimination and one save per judge. It's like a timeout in hockey. If you don't follow hockey, talk to somebody next to you. It's Canada. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when you came in this evening, you were given a ballot. By applause. Who got a ballot tonight? By applause. There you go. When you got that ballot, uh, everybody has a pencil. There are pencils available in the lobby. We will be having intermissions, just to let everybody know. Every fourth act, we will have a 10-minute intermission. That's when you can go to the lobby. Uh, this is how the balloting system works, just to let everybody know. You get a ballot for every drink you purchase this evening, alcoholic or non-alcoholic. So whether you are hydrated or hammered, we don't care. Uh, also, everybody has a wristband? Everybody has a wristband? Yes? Shazam! There you go. So uh, when you get your drink, they will mark off on your wristband and you get up to three ballots after that. You can still order drinks, but no ballots. But who cares? After that, drinking for you! Hooray! Uh, so you're like, this one's for me! <laughs> But, you know, you're like, I don't actually have a gun. I just make the noise. Pachooey, yay. Audience, you may boo a contestant off the stage. But it's Canada, so I'm sure our booing will be more like, you can do better. Um, so I believe in you if you prepare more so. But here is the thing. If you choose to boo, you are welcome to boo. A person can be eliminated from booing. But everybody on this stage tonight is allowed to get at least one minute of performance time. And it is up to me, the host and MC, to decide whether that person should be eliminated or not. I'll be in the wings and I'll say, the audience hates you. Oh, audience, why do you hate this person? Or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just let you guys continue to boo them and see if this person has what it takes to get through life. Um, so, welcome to the real world. You don't wear a pink shirt to uh, get people to stop picking on you. You actually have to stand up for yourself. Suck it. Yes, so audience, you are allowed to boo. Let me remind you, though, that uh, if somebody is eliminated, they don't immediately leave the stage, and only up to six people can be eliminated from the show in total. Which brings us to our judges, ladies and gentlemen. Joining us today, our celebrity judge number one, uh, this young fella that you see right here, ladies and gentlemen. No, this isn't Jamie Lee Curtis's father, Tony Curtis. Uh, this person is, in fact, uh, he's an award-winning man, right? You won awards? Yes? He's won uh, awards. Some of them include a bronze participation medal from 1987. Uh, also, he is uh, the man who hosts and runs Canada's most popular burlesque night. The most popular burlesque night in the country, ladies and gentlemen. He is the professor. We can catch your burlesque night every Sunday at the Biltmore. It's Kitty Burlesque. Isn't that right, professor? That's right. Kitty Night's Burlesque. We're now almost in January. We'll celebrate five years here in Vancouver. Five there you go. Five years. Thank you. 
Ooh. We brought it from New York because, ladies and gentlemen, in New York City, when you owe people money, they will kill you. Uh, so, yeah, if we want to learn go. more about the professor, how do we do that? Uh, you can find out about us at kittynights.com. We're on Facebook. Find us. You'll love us. That's right. The very exclusive. This Sunday night at the Biltmore is Burgundy Briggs's birthday. She's the real brains behind Oh, Kitty my goodness. So come it's on now. Birthday of a burlesque star right. this Sunday at the Biltmore. If you're watching this on TV, congratulations. It's already happened. Um, and it's his birthday on the 11th. He's turning 50. I don't think you were supposed to mention that, but okay. So oh, now he's just crying inside. Oh, really? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna say that's that you're okay. 50? Okay, all right. Does nobody ever want to shoot me bad enough, kill me so far? Uh, that's all right. Okay. That's how you know you're in Canadian show business when somebody's like, how old are you? 50. Oh, you're real age. Okay, very well then. Good. <laughs> Uh, and uh, joining us as well is uh, award-winning celebrity impersonator, Bonnie Kilrow. Uh, Bonnie Kilrow, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what's your name, please? Uh, Sharon Osborne. And um, so you're judging today? Yes, I am. I'm judging. Uh, is, it, is it East Van Can Talent or something like that? I, I can't remember, but that, you know, I've done these things before. Um, most unique act, actually. In, most unique. At yes. Las, in Las Vegas, right? Uh, it was yes, at the Las Vegas. And in Florida. Yes. All right. So there you go. Uh, so thank you. Uh, as you can tell, another Canadian performer. Uh, you can tell they're Canadian because they are amazing at promoting themselves, ladies and gentlemen. I won something. I don't want to brag. Uh, so, uh, and if people want to learn more about the Bonnie Kilrows in their neighborhood, how do they do that? Google me. Bonnie we should, Kilrow. We should probably. Make it get websites of some sort, I would say. And uh, today... Celebrityimposters.com. Celebrityimposters.com. And tonight, you, of course, are portraying Kim Kardashian. Seven, All right, so... Seven. That's right, Sharon Osbourne. She'll be our celebrity Sharon Osbourne for the evening. So there you go. And uh, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the man at the end. Uh, and just because he's on the end doesn't mean he is the end. Uh, he is the alpha. He is the omega. He is the great. He is the wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Is there a lot of pressure with you being a judge? Well, the question uh, whether or not I've got pressure being a judge I don't see it as pressure. I see it more as um, a lot of steady, a lot of massage, really. It's a lot of massage because ultimately um, I can say whatever I want, and uh, no one judges me. If you know what I mean. Originally from somewhere in London, England, I believe, a street name of some sort. Where, what part of uh, fake England are you from, sir? The question about whether or not my accent is real is like, is Mitt Romney really um, a Republican or is Barack Obama really um, the first African-American question? And so the answer is, what do you think? Yes, it's completely real. I'm British. That's right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jayquees Leyland. A big round of applause for Jayquees. Jayquees Leyland. Uh, Jayquees, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, sir. Um, well, I'm incredibly famous uh, across the continents. Uh, primarily, there are statues of me in Africa. Um, like, but, but other than that, um, Simon Cowell took everything he knows from me. But I'm more than just mean. I'm also incredibly handsome. Jayquees Leyland. Big round of applause for our celebrity judges, ladies Caribou. and gentlemen. There you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are filming this evening. It is for Shaw TV. Yeah, that's right, Channel 4. And uh, so if you have access to basic cable or if you are stealing cable, you have a good chance of seeing this show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we are filming for Shaw TV this evening. So all I ask is this. If you are here tonight with someone you should not be with, now would be a good time to move. Um, <laughs> Very difficult explaining to that special person at home. Oh, no. So, uh, so yes, so there you go. Also, I recommend that if your Crime Stoppers ad has recently aired, probably sit behind the camera. 
so any other questions? Anybody have any questions about the balloting system? You must pick three people on your ballot. You must pick three people on your ballot. If you pick fewer than three people on your ballot, your ballot will be eliminated, null and void. Also, you are only allowed to vote, uh, or you're only allowed to have up to four ballots. If you are caught uh, filling out more than four ballots, your ballots will be eliminated and not counted. It's going to be very funny. Uh, you are going to be incredibly entertained. When I'm finished, you'll be like, that guy was amazing. What was his name? Don't know. And, uh, oh yes, that's what I wanted to tell you. Uh, on your ballots, you will see there are Twitter handles. Feel free to tweet and take photos. No flash photography is all we ask. But during the intermission, flash away. That's an inappropriate use of words. Take pictures with flash photography as you choose. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we encourage you tweet, uh, Instagram it, uh, tag people, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Everything is there on your ballots. Uh, you might win a prize. I don't know. Maybe you'll win a prize. Or sit and stare. This is going to be great. This show is going to go wonderful. It's my wedding night all over again. All right, so. Bazinga. Uh, I will tell you this about myself. I, uh, I am married. Sorry, fellas. And uh, thank you, two of them. So is the best ones. Why? Uh, and uh, I am married. Uh, I have two kids, both of them beautiful. So, of course, we have no idea who the real father is. And thank you. Look at that. That is a round of applause and a standing ovation in this room. I, how was the show, Patrick? Tens of people enjoyed me. Uh, so, uh, I've got a boy and a girl, and uh, I have a two-year-old daughter, four-year-old son, and one thing I have discovered as a, an older father is this. Time out simply doesn't work. That's one thing I've learned. Time out is simply time for your kid to figure out how not to get caught again. That's basically how it is. Uh, my four-year-old son, I put him in time out, he turns into Tony Montana from Scarface. That's pretty much what happens. I was like, hey buddy, hey buddy. Not cool, two minute time out, two minute time out, not cool, two minutes time out. He's like, you put me on time out, man. Put me on time out, man. You know what, what do I care? Four freaking years old, man, two minute time out. What do I care? Put me on time out, you know what, man? You put me on two minute, you know what, I, man? You know two minute, three minute, what am I gonna do? Play in the sandbox for just 58 minutes? I don't care. You know what, man? To you, two minutes is a long time. You know why? Because you're freaking old, that's why, man. What are you, 41, 42, 40? That is what you're gonna be, man. That's, you know, I just, you know what, man? You put me in timeout for like two minutes. You say timeout's over. You know what? I'm gonna sit there an extra minute. That's what I'm gonna do, Ben that hole. You just wait and see. Thank you. For the folks at home, I'm killing it. Ladies and gentlemen at home listening, I am killing my career. I have made some poor life choices. I, uh, I gotta tell you though, whenever my son acts that way, part of me is very proud as a parent, because I'm like, he is doing great. He is swearing at a third grade level. Um, I don't know why when I'm proud of my son, I sound like a tranny, but I do apparently. Uh, somehow or another though, ladies and gentlemen, I can guarantee you this. Tonight, I give you this much. There will be a beginning and there will be an end. Uh, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's all put our hands together. We'll do this, we'll practice, yes? All right. When people come out tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to applaud like crazy and uh, go nuts as though you know who they are. Uh, you won't. Eh, three of you might. Uh, you came to see a friend, maybe, and the rest of you would be like, oh, I should have called more friends. But uh, so we'll do a little practice run. So on the count of three, everybody applaud and go crazy. Ready? So one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Sorry, applaud, sir. I can barely see you, but you didn't clap. Why didn't you? You filthy, why are you better than everybody? Just sitting there in the dark, just, oh, this strip club is terrible. You'll have fun, sir, trust me. You, are you gonna have a good time? All right, that's probably a better way to warm up an audience other than out of fear, but. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm gonna be back and forth, I'm gonna be up and down, uh, and uh, like I said, I am your host MC, Patrick Maliha. You are gonna have a good time tonight, and uh, so we'll do the uh, applauding once again, just to make sure we're all good for it. Ready, one, two, three, we all do this, yeah! You can cheer, you can squeal, hold up the sign that you brought. What? Uh, and you're gonna have a great time. So ladies and gentlemen, 
Uh, each person tonight I introduce, I'm going to introduce with the same introduction so that nobody has an advantage over anybody else. The only difference is I'm going to give you a brief uh, description of what they do. Like I said, you must pick three people. Your favorite, you put a number one beside it. Second favorite, a number two. A third favorite, you put an X. That's right. No, you put a three beside it. Yes, you put a... You, what's that? That's another thing, ladies and gentlemen. I can't stress this enough. Whatever you do, if you're drinking tonight, please only drink if you're not an idiot. <laughs> I don't think it's an act. I think the MC is actually a jerk. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, your first guest of the evening. Uh, this young fella, oh my goodness gracious, I think this guy is the greatest performer of the night. I think he's got what it takes to win the $500 cash prize. I think this person is the greatest thing you will ever see in your lifetime. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show, number one on your list, number one in your hearts, singer, songwriter, Jim Bramhill! It's the life I'm living, I'm living it out loud. 
It's the life I'm living, I'm living it out loud. Jim. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. Jim, thank you so, oh my goodness. All right, well, Jim, you're out of the competition, but thank you very much. It was nice having you, pack the car. Uh, I'm kidding, with a shirt like that, have a car? Come on. Uh, Professor, what did you think? What did you think of Jim? What did you think? Uh, I thought he uh, had a pretty powerful voice. He was right on the melody, very Bob Dylan-esque, nice lyrics. I hope that was an original song because the lyrics are very nice. Uh, I'm not afraid of following, following my calling. That's a pretty good rhyme if I do say so from another sing songwriter guy. Very good job, Jim. Thank you very much, Brian Hill. Oh, yeah. yeah, very. There, there you go. Sharon? Playing his guitar and singing. Don't you think that was good? Singing he was good at, at playing time. his guitar. I, I don't know why I'm holding this was, mic, by the way. That was an original song. I thought it was very good. I thought his vocals were a bit weak. You thought his vocals were weak? Pitch. Yeah. But if, if he had someone with a really good voice doing the song, I think it would be quite good, don't you think? There you go. Sharon feels if he had somebody with As a good a voice singing it and somebody who could play guitar better, he might have something. Well, I think there's talent there is what I'm saying. You know. All right. Jay Quiz. Um, well, I thought that his uh, exit when he elbowed you in a throat was one of his best moments. I thought, we've had no hockey in Canada and it really looked like something from the 72 series Well, Phil, Phil Esposito or Bobby Clark give someone a good drubbing. I agree with the professor about the Bob Dylan thing. It's like they filled up Bob Dylan with feel. I thought oh, he's got it's a great song. Uh, I get a new shirt and it's tough being first. But I love him, I love his energy, and uh, I think he'll be fourth. And uh, Jake Weiss, thank you very much for uh, your opinion. I like how even the audience is like, are we allowed to boo? I don't feel comfortable doing it. I don't, you one can boo, boo me, boo me, see if like I can. one care. performer, we're getting boos. <laughs> there you yeah, go. There's only one performer getting boo so far. There's Project. only been one performer. <laughs> yeah, but it's not him. <laughs> That's another uh, thing. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you are one of the judges, I must act like I care about you. The saddest part is I've slept with two of the three judges to get a good vote for myself. I didn't even know I wasn't in the competition. Um, are you ready for your second guest, ladies and gentlemen? Your next guest, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this guy, oh my goodness gracious, I think he's got what it takes to win the whole thing. I think this guy is gonna win the $500 cash prize and be the best performer you've ever seen in your entire life. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to stage number two on your list, number one in your hearts, magician Christopher J. So, uh, so judges, what do you think? What do you think about Christopher James? I thought it was amazing. I thought it was, where are you going? Where, what are you doing? Uh, so, Professor? I, uh, you know, to be honest, I have seen this act before, and I thought in my mind, oh, I know how he does it. And I said to myself, I will be behind him tonight, and I will see how he does it, see if I'm right. And no, it's impossible how I was here. I can't believe it's unspeakable, incredible job. Thank you, Christopher James. Blow my mind tonight, yes. Thank you so very much. Thank God we're gonna edit this. You have your own microphone. I'm just gonna help her out for the rest of the show, I think. Thank you. I'm Sharon! Just, I, you know what, I find it difficult to believe, Sharon, that you have uh, absolutely no ability to understand how to work something that I looks like that and is that size. Out. I'll show you after the show, Patrick. 
See, this is normally where I would say something uh, horribly inappropriate, but not on show. I know exactly. No, I'm no, trying to get can't this. Can't do that, Patrick. I know. So I'll have to think of something that sounds like a dirty joke, but isn't a dirty joke. That's what I was gonna say. All right, Sharon. Thank you very much. After the show, uh, you can uh, show me your mic technique on my microphone. Okay. What are they doing in there? Karaoke? You could call it that. All right. So. <laughs> One person in the audience, oh, man. I'll bring the mothball cake. That's right, yep. Uh, people at home right now are just watching, just going, what the deuce, why am I even watching this? This is, I'm watching it online. I could even left click and go to porn or something. Ladies and gentlemen, this young lady, oh my goodness gracious, uh, she, by the way, is only 16 years of age. That's right, if you are young, you are allowed to perform here, long as you are accompanied by an adult. Uh, okay, her adult is in the audience. We may have to look into this. So if you are underage, you can audition, you can try to get in. Uh, and uh, we do uh, adhere to all the BC liquor laws, and you are with a guardian at all times. There is somebody back there watching after the kids. The kids, that's how you know you're old, when somebody who is 16 is considered a child. Singer with keyboard, Christina Adamis! <laughs> and then a song that probably all of you know. So, here we go. Get me out of her head, cause it's way too dark in here. I've been trying to find an exit strategy. It wouldn't take you that much time. Could you send the key through the ear? Oh, oh, it's a little too late to say that you want me. Cause next time I'm going at it with a little bit of sensibility. I'm not gonna lie here anymore. Time drifting off in here. No windows, no clocks, no chandeliers. You gotta open up her eyes. It's time to wake up. It's a new day, sunrise. Put on your makeup. Oh, oh. It's a little too late to say that you want me. Cause next time I'm going at you with a little bit of sensibility. I'm not gonna lie here anymore. Got my hands under the table and I'm walking away. Show is over, curtain closes, throw your roses on the floor. I'm not gonna lie here anymore. Oh, well, there you go. Christina, Christina, is it Ad Adamis? Adamis? Adamietz. Adam, uh, what is it? Adamietz. Uh, Christina Smith, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back. Mark your seats somehow other than you would on the Sky Train. Also, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, our next uh, Rio Theater Talent Quest show will be December 6th. 
We will find out who will win $500 cash money, who will advance to the Champion of Champions show. We will also find out who advances to our show December the 6th to get a second chance. That is it. We'll see you back here in 15 or 20 minutes. Good night for now. We'll see you in 15 or 20.